The Litco Plus cardiac output monitor displays hemodynamic data to allow you to more effectively manage your patient in the intensive care unit. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to set up the disposables needed for the arterial part of the calibration technique. Make sure you have your lithium chloride ampule, sensor and injected kit ready and we'll start with the priming of the sensor. Remove the lure cap from the sensor and flush it with 20mm saline. This is to activate the sensor and you'll notice the wick change from a white to a grey colour. Next, attach the blood collection bag to the sensor. And once you've done this, connect the sensor to the arterial line. Flush the sensor by the transducer to remove any air bubbles. Now attach the sensor to the sensor cable and you'll see the sensor and battery voltage turn green. If the sensor voltage is red, try flushing again to remove all air bubbles. Finally, take the Litco flow regulator, identify the retaining lugs on the blood collection bag tube and insert them into the matching positions on the flow regulator as shown. Fit the longer lug first. Squeeze the tension levers and wrap the tubing around the rotor. Fit the smaller lug and release the tension lever. In this section, I'll show you how to set up the venous side ready for calibration. Prime the park and ride tube with 0.9% sodium chloride and connect to either the CVP line or peripheral line. Next, take your lithium chloride ampule and drop the full amount using the 10 mil syringe and quill. Connect the needle free valve and label the syringe. In this section, you will learn how to calibrate the Litco Plus. Before we start the process, touch the Litco button twice and press OK. Make sure you have updated the hemoglobin, the sodium and the dose of lithium values. Once you have done this, press the Litco button in the top right hand corner to enter the calibration screen. Draw up a dose of lithium chloride using the 2 mil syringe. Before injection, ensure the CVC does not contain a pharmacological or therapeutic infusion. Now, inject the lithium chloride into the park and ride tube. Make sure this is accurately drawn up so that you have consistent results. Now you're ready to attach a 20 mil syringe filled with saline to the park and ride, ready to administer the lithium chloride dose. Moving to the arterial setup, turn the three-way tap to open the Litco sensor to the patient. Squeeze the tension levers on the flow regulator to allow blood to flow over the sensor. When blood has passed the sensor, release the tension levers and switch on the flow regulator pump. Once this screen states ready for use, press inject. With the CVC three-way tap open, inject 20 mL of saline into the park and ride tubing. It is important to do this quickly using a steady flush. You can then close the CVC three-way tap. The screen will prompt you to turn off the flow regulator and flush the arterial line. Remember, to flush the arterial line, just open the sensor to the transducer and flush it with saline. Ensure you squeeze the tension levers on the flow regulator 
to allow the flow of saline into the blood collection bag. Make sure you flush the arterial line and re-establish the arterial waveform. Calibrate the LITCO Plus with the data obtained by pressing auto calibration. Note, a second measurement will be requested if it is an initial calibration as shown. Press OK and select Retry and repeat the calibration. If the calibration factor is within 15% of the previous reading, press Accept Calibration. Press OK to return to the main monitoring screen. The LITCO Plus will now be calibrated with highly accurate absolute data and will normally need recalibration after 24 hours. If the curve is an unusual shape, perform another calibration. Ensure the injection of the saline flush is quick and smooth and the arterial blood flow is not obstructed. If the peak concentration is too low or too high, the dose of lithium may need to be adjusted. To avoid peak concentration being too low, larger patients may require 0.45 millimoles or a 3 mil dose of lithium. If the peak concentration is too high, reduce the dose to 0.15 millimoles or 1 mil of lithium. Ensure the sensor is free of blood so the sensor can be reused for a later calibration. Re-establish the arterial trace and ensure the trace is optimal as this is required for an accurate calibration. A damped arterial waveform may lead to calibration errors. In this section, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to ensure a smooth setup and calibration. Before we do that, a good rule of thumb is to check all cables and connections before you use the monitor. OK, if you can't see any blood pressure data when you first switch on the monitor, then check the cable that connects the LITCO Plus to the primary patient monitor. When calibrating, if you see the sensor voltage is out of range and displays as a red bar rather than a green bar, that means you need to check the sensor and the interface cable. Make sure there are no bubbles in the sensor itself. If there are, flush the sensor via the transducer. Check the sensor interface cable and make sure that the connection to the sensor is dry. It's worth pointing out that air bubbles in the sensor can not only affect the sensor voltage, but also how quickly the baseline stabilizes prior to calibration. Again, flush the sensor to remove any bubbles.